Good morning. Welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Wednesday morning now. I'm in here with Colin who's playing with some of Nora's toys and I tried to sneak away to what I thought would be the quietest room in the house and so I'm here in Nora's bedroom but I pretty much anywhere the, that I am the kids are and that it doesn't it's not the, the quietest room in the house anymore but I figured I would at least try so we have some catching up to do because we went away to Maryland to go specifically for Henry our nephew's third birthday he had his his third birthday is actually today in real life but we um, celebrated it my sister hosted the birthday party last weekend so we went up for that it was really fun it was great to see her and her family and of course my parents we stayed with them and then it was great to go and see my grandparents Mimi and Poppy I've mentioned them many times on this channel um, most recently Mimi unfortunately fell three separate times within like a 12 hour span she had like 15 stitches and staples in her head it was just awful um, and she has really advanced Alzheimer's dementia anyway and so it's just been it's just been really tough so it's great to see her and give her a hug she doesn't quite know, I don't think, who really anyone exactly is anymore. She gets, of course, very confused. That's obviously a result of the disease that she's facing. Um, she calls me Texas, which is sweet that she remembers that I, you know, now live in Texas. But the, the cool thing is, it's okay. It's all right. The cool thing is, is that she does seem to come alive so much more when she's playing with my kids or with Allie's kids. Um, there's just something about being around little kids that seems to trigger um, a lot of her old self. So the hard thing with Alzheimer's is it does feel like, a lot of people say it feels like two deaths. You know, you lose them while they're living and then you lose them when they officially pass away. Um, to me, it feels like a thousand deaths because it's like first she doesn't remember this and then, the, you know what I mean? It's just such a challenging thing. Nevertheless, it's good to see her and hug her and take pictures with her and with her playing with my kids and just having those memories. Um... We did like puzzles together and pretty much anything that my children enjoy doing, she enjoys doing at this point. So it was it was really nice anyway. So we saw her one of the days for Henry's birthday. Um, we took him to Build-A-Bear Workshop and it was so much fun. I have wanted to go to Build-A-Bear with Nora um, or with, my, with a child of mine ever since I was like 10 years old. And I just had so much fun. Like she had fun, but I think I had more fun than her. In fact, her bear was just, oh, here it is. She got, she made the cutest bear with this cute little dress and these little sparkly shoes and little bows in her hair. And oh, it was so fun. It was definitely like a mom dream come true for me to go to build a bear workshop. And um, it was fun to take Henry as well. And then afterwards, all of us, we all went to Cheesecake Factory for lunch. So it was like, I, I was like, this is the best day ever. I'm having a great time. But I did take some footage at Build-A-Bear, so I'll insert that here. Nora, where are we? You say Build-A-Bear? You so excited? You want Henry? He'll be here in just a minute, okay? Henry's getting a froggy and Nora's getting a bunny. Push it on the bed. Good job. Okay, Daddy's getting Nora's bunny dressed. Nora, are you gonna help him? Sweet baby Eliza. Henry, what did you choose? A firefighter outfit? A firefighter. Okay, you put the little hat on him? Henry, is he getting his little boxers on? There they are. That's, That's so, so cute. silly. Oh, look at his little bum. <laughs> they have a hole for the tail. <laughs> look at that. Is that silly? Nora, let me see your bunny. She has a bow and she has a dress and big girl underwear on. Wow. It 
it was great. We had a really fun day. Um, and then another day while we were up there, we went out to dinner for my mom's birthday. Her birthday is not for a few more days here in real life. But again, since we were up there, we decided to go ahead and celebrate. And we went to this really fun restaurant that um, has an outdoor playground for the kids. So we sat at a table right next to that. And so Nora and Henry and even baby Colin who's like gonna be one so soon, was playing on the playground. And I mean, he Colin wasn't climbing the playground, but he was playing in the sand. And so we actually got to like enjoy each other's company and we had so much fun. We went and got snowballs after, so that was wonderful. And I do have a little bit of footage from that night, so I'll insert that here. We're here for Grammy's birthday. Have a nice water. We've all gotten our orders, and I ordered an orange crush, which is a Baltimore specialty. And I'm sitting next to baby Eliza. And this, we got the best table in the house because it's right next to the playground. So Nora and Henry are just playing. We just got drink orders in. And we're celebrating my mom's birthday. Cheers to mom. Happy birthday. Cheers, Cheers. Happy 40. <laughs> <laughs> Our food just came and Riley and I are splitting what's called the Santa Fe wrap. What's called the Santa Fe wrap? <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Kali's sitting over there. We're feeding him little bits. We have wings on the table. Allie got a club sandwich. I got my bestie over here. <laughs> Nora's back over there playing. This is like the best setup ever. Another highlight of our trip was, for me specifically, was one morning I woke up and um, and went and got a massage first thing in the morning. And it was so lovely. It was the Aveda Stress Fix Massage. It was like a 90 minute massage and it was wonderful. And then afterwards at the spa, I went and took like a spa shower and then I laid, they have like a spa lounge and I had my Kindle with me and I read all these all these books. I read, I finished one of the books I was reading is what I'm trying to say. Um, and it was just such a nice relaxing morning. So it was great. I loved our trips up to Maryland. We went ahead and sat down while we were up there. Everybody got their calendars out and we decided the next few times that we'll see each other. Um, and it was just wonderful. I'm so glad we went and happy third birthday to Henry. I can't believe he's three, which means in two more months, Nora will be three, which is the craziest thing in the entire world. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get back to these kids. They actually have been wonderful while I filmed this. Sometimes I try to film seven or eight different times, and each time there's so much <laughs> so much noise that you can't even hear me speaking, and so I keep refilming it, which is just the way of life right now. But I will give you updates on several things in this video. Um, it's Wednesday, if I didn't already say that. We flew back on Monday night, and then yesterday was a catch-up day. Um, one of the things I will definitely give you updates on is my Kindle Paperwhite and all of the books I've been reading. I have been like reading two books a week, which for me right now in life is, is truly excellent. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. I've been spending so much of my downtime reading instead of scrolling through my phone and I am better for it. I'm better for it. So I'll give you updates on that and other things, but I wanted to say welcome to my week. That's a little recap of where we were over the, you know, a few days last week. Here we are. Welcome to it. Let's talk a little bit about books, shall we? Both kids are taking their afternoon nap and I um, read a couple of chapters in my current book, which is The Girl on the Train and it's getting really good. And then I laid down and napped. Um, well, I really don't think I fell asleep, maybe for 20 minutes. I'm still recovering. I don't think I said earlier, but our flight was delayed when we were flying back home here on Monday night and so we didn't get to our house until around 1 a.m. It was a long, a long travel afternoon and evening. Um, and so we've just, you know, we went to bed really late last night. Colin took two long naps yesterday. We're all just kind of getting ourselves back in order after that long travel. So I am currently reading The Girl on the Train and I'm currently listening on Audible to Where the Crawdads Sing. It's nice to have a book to read and then a book to listen to because there are obviously a lot of times, you know, when I'm working or whatever and I'm like sorting or packaging orders when it's nice to listen to a book, but I couldn't read, you know, um, in the traditional sense of reading. So let me go back to my Kindle library. First of all, I am completely obsessed with this Kindle Paperwhite and I'm so frustrated because I bought it and about three days later, Kindle is doing, I guess because of back to school, they're doing these great sales on Kindle Paper Whites. And you can get the Kindle Paper White plus this lavender case, or they have it in a couple of other colors, and the charging brick for like 
40 or 50 bucks or something less than what I paid for it. So um, if you're interested in getting a Kindle, I've charged it once and I still have 35% of the charge left. And that was, I think about three weeks ago now. And let's see, I read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I read The Party Crasher by Sophie Kinsella. I already talked about those two books. Um, and then I read The Silent Patient, fantastic. Loved it, psychological thriller. And then I read The Housemaid, also a psychological thriller. So good, so good. And now I'm reading The Girl on the Train, um, which is also a psychological thriller. So I'm really enjoying just like the fast paced. I love that I can pick it up and read a few chapters and it's exciting and engaging. Um, so I've really enjoyed all of those books. I've also loved all of your recommendations on my um, Facebook post last week. So great to uh, have everybody share what you're reading, what you're loving. And I have like this long list of books that are on my to read list. I am a little more, I think, than ha or just about, I think, 50% about halfway through Where the Crawdads Sing. Um, I think because I've been reading these fast paced psychological thrillers, it's a bit slow, I gotta say. I know it is like what everyone's talking about right now. Um, I'm not not enjoying the book, but it's just not gripping me really in any way. Um, it's just been a very slow build up so far. I do like the descriptions of everything. The author is a brilliant writer and I like the way that she writes. Um, beautiful language. It's very flowery language, very descriptive language, um, which is different than the kinds of books I've been reading lately, which are more like twists and turns and shocks. <laughs> Um, so I am enjoying listening to it, um, but it's just not, it's not gripping me in the way that I thought it would, given how much hype I've heard about that book. Um, I just thought I would just like not be able to stop listening to it, and that's not really how I feel. But I will keep you updated because I'm only halfway through it, and so certainly things could change, and I might just be like amazing. Um, I will say that I do like the like character development and things like that, which some of the um, some of the more fast paced books really miss and you kind of are left wondering about certain things. So that's my story, no pun intended, about my books. I just can't recommend getting a Kindle enough if you, like me, hadn't read for or haven't been reading because it's just, there's so many barriers. Like I have only bought, I think, one book. Everything else I've rented for free using the Libby app, which is linked to my local library card. And they, it just automatically syncs up to my Kindle. It's so nice. You get it for each book for 14 days, which is more than enough time. Um, and it's great. It's so great. It has this the low light. I read it at night before bed. I read it when I'm nursing Colin to sleep. I read it when I'm sitting in Nora's room and helping her fall asleep. Like I just read it all the time. I brought, bring it in the car with me. It's wonderful. So that's a little book update. I know I have a lot of you guys who have enjoyed hearing about books um, because you guys have messaged me and told me, which is so sweet. I feel like I'm entering this whole new world of getting back into reading. Uh, my mom was cute when I was up there reading, you know, just whenever I could, when the kids were napping or, you know, whatever, whenever, when they went to bed, I would just have my Kindle with me and I would read. She was like, oh my gosh, seeing you reading all around this house just reminds me so much of when you were a little girl. That's like all I remember you ever doing was just always with a book on vacations. You would always find little cozy places to read. And like I said in my last weekly vlog when I was unboxing my Kindle, it truly feels like reclaiming a part of myself that I lost a little bit in motherhood. And so it's nice to get back to it. So that's what I've been reading. I will give you updates as I continue along. I'm sure I won't talk about it quite this much in weeks to come, but it's all just new and it's like a rush getting back to reading again. All right, I just finished folding all of our laundry and we just had some dinner and Riley just spun his latest Ninja Creamy creation. I don't know the name of it, but it's pumpkin spice. Um, and there's pumpkin um, puree in there and uh, brown sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg and rum. Oh, and, rum? Yeah. And I think that's that's it. It's really good. It tastes like pumpkin pie. It does. It's exactly like pumpkin pie. Let me pie. taste it. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it? It tastes exactly like pumpkin pie filling. So good. But like creamier, like an ice cream. Mm-hmm. <gasps> okay, we'll leave a link to that. Do you have a, a recipe link? Yeah. But in the recipe I used, um, I used um, heavy cream instead of coconut cream. Oh, so if you use coconut cream, then it's plant-based. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll leave a link to it. We still love our Ninja Creamy, it's so fun. We're also about to make 
a base for what is it? A lemon cookie ice cream? Lemon cookie. That's gonna be good. I'll make that tonight. That sounds great. Yeah. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday now. It's about 10:30 a.m. Even though it's 80 degrees outside, and we are still in. August. <laughs> I am wearing one of the new designs from my fall line that says spooky season because your girl is ready for fall. I'm so ready for all of the burr months, September, October, November, December. Favorite time of year by far. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm trying not to wish it away, but to be honest with you, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Um, we have so many fun things that we're doing during the burr months and, um, it's just, it's just great. Um, so yesterday afternoon, we ended up going to our friend's house and spending the afternoon there. Me and the kids did. Riley worked a little bit late, and then we all met up at home and did dinner and bedtime. Um, Colin did not sleep well last night. He's been sleeping well for a couple of weeks now. Before that, we had a little bit of a rough patch. And then he's been sleeping like beautifully. And then just last night was like a blip on the radar where he was just up a whole lot, a whole lot during the night. I think something that he ate with his dinner upset his stomach and he wasn't feeling great. So um, we'll keep an eye on that and just kind of watch, you know, certain foods make certain people not feel well. So that's that. Um, we have our babysitter with the kids today, of course. I'm up at my office. This morning was a morning where I just woke up and I was just like, our house is just such a mess, y'all. It's just so hard. Like, it's just so hard. It's so hard to stay on top of things. Um, it's just so hard. <laughs> like, I feel like Riley and I are constantly both when we are home, folding laundry, cleaning, putting things away, sorting things, organizing. It's literally so constant and it never, ever ends. And I feel like we never really get there. Of course, pre-kids, I could deep clean the house and organize it or just one room or whatever, and it would just stay that way. And I realize, of course, it's because we have little people running around, but some days it just wears you out. You're like, good grief, I just cleaned this room and now it's suddenly completely destroyed again. And even when we put toys away or we, we have a gate that goes between the playroom and the, the back main part of our house, if we like put, close and lock the gate, it, it doesn't matter. It, you just like if I put the pillows on the couch, all the pillows come off the pow off the couch, um, that kind of thing. And it, you just have to learn to live with it. But some days are easier than others. And this morning, I could not wait to come up to my office. Which look, look how neat and tidy it is. <sighs> I'm so thankful for this office for so many reasons. I originally moved up here to work at this office and leased it because of the sheer volume of orders that I was getting on Etsy and the number of garments that were just stacked sky high in our home. It was just completely taking over our home. And I, at the time, had just Nora and she was like crawling around and I was thinking, mm, this is gonna get dicey really fast. And um, I cannot imagine if I were still operating out of our home now with Colin on the move and Nora clearly on the move, it would be completely destroyed constantly. <laughs> I'd be finding garments all over the house. That would not have worked. So I originally did that, but a huge added bonus for me is that I have a quiet, clean, tidy, organized space that's just mine, that like stays the way that I leave it. And um, it definitely, it definitely is soothing to me. I cannot stand living in a disordered environment, but there is some level of disorder that I have had to accept that comes along with being a parent. Um, so anyway, that's the story. All right, I'm gonna get to work here. I have lots and lots of work to do this week, packaging orders and mailing them out. Our fall line has done so well. Thank you guys so much for all of your orders that you have put in. Um, it's been really fun to see what everyone is choosing and the colors and the designs and all that. I just love seeing that. So I have some emails to answer, some orders to package. I have to go up to Riley's studio and sort some orders. I've got all kinds of work to do, so I better stop chatting and get to work. I must have been really feeling the Halloween spirit or something today wearing my spooky season shirt because I just ordered the kids Halloween costumes 
and I'm so excited. So let me show you what I ordered for them. I'm so, I'm so excited. Nora's going to be so, so thrilled. So I found this website that's called mylittledoc.com and it's kind of a funny website. They do sell some of their items on Amazon, but they don't have as full of a selection. So Nora is going to be a doctor. If you know, you know, she's obsessed. She calls herself Dr. Nor Nor and she is completely obsessed. There's so many stories I could tell you about it, but she just loves, loves, loves playing doctor. So I found this website. They have kids and toddler size scrubs. So I ordered her toddler scrubs and a toddler doctor coat. I'm gonna have Riley embroider it to say Dr. Nora um, on the coat. I cannot wait. It's gonna be so cute. And then for Colin to go with her, he is, I ordered this, he's gonna be a little skeleton. I wanted something that would be just comfortable for him because, you know, he'll be one and um, like a little x-ray with a doctor. I think that's so cute. Riley also suggested that we could do, he could dress up as an apple. So like a, you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but I, the apple costume did not look comfortable at all. And I think this looks really comfy. So I am so excited. She is so cute. Oh, she's gonna love it so much. I recently asked her what she wanted to be for Halloween. And because she was so young last year, I don't know that she completely remembers. She was a cowgirl last year and it was so, so cute. But I don't know that she like totally remembers that. And so I was like, I was thinking maybe you could be a doctor because we don't have any doctor dress ups for her. We just have like a stethoscope and a little doctor bag and she carries it around <laughs> truly all day long. She's so obsessed with being a doctor th that my mother-in-law has bought a full doctor kit for her house because when Nora would go to her house, she would ask to play doctor and she didn't have one. So now she does. My mom has two doctor kits at her house so that when Henry's over as well, both Nora and Henry can play doctor. <laughs> and even our closest friends here that we were over their house yesterday, they got a doctor kit because Nora talks about it so much. Everyone in her life has a doctor kit because she just loves being a doctor. So we already have all the accessories. I just needed the little scrubs and the little lab coat. And that's a really comfy outfit as well. So it'll be perfect. Um, and we'll just put the stethoscope around her neck. I'll have R Riley embroider it with her little name and, um, Oh, it's gonna be so cute. We can put in the little pocket, like some of her little accessories that she has. And then Colin will be precious in his little skeleton outfit. He's so cute. So I'm really excited. I just texted my sister to see if she, to tell her what we were doing. Cause she and I always talk about Halloween costumes all year long, like what we're doing, you know, with our kids or whatever. And this year, Eliza will be here, of course. So um, I wanna see what, I think she just responded to me if she's already made a plan. Oh no, she didn't, someone else was texting me. I can't wait to hear, she, oh, she's so creative. She always has great ideas for them. So we got the Halloween costumes done. It makes me super excited. It's just really fun in this season of life as Nora continues to get a little older. I mean, we're all getting a little older, but she's getting to the point where she's really understanding holidays and birthdays. And like we went recently to a birthday party and she was like, my birthday's coming. And like, she was talking about her birthday and I was like, this is so fun. She's like, gets it. So I think she'll have a really good time dressing up as a doctor. And I love this in particular because afterwards, after Halloween, she will continue, I guarantee, to wear it all the time. Um, and put it on and, and get dressed and everything. So I just think it's so great. We will fully support our children in whatever they want to do in life, but it will be so stinking cute if she goes into the medical field and we have all of these. I mean, I just have endless pictures and videos of her playing doctor. It's her favorite thing on earth. We were watching Daniel Tiger this morning and there's an ep there's I think a few episodes about the doctor, but the one this morning was Daniel going to the doctor. And when I tell you, she just stops everything that she's doing and she just takes it in. She just loves it. I told her, I was like, your two year appointments coming up. You are three year. Oh my golly. Your three year appointments coming up and we're going to go to the doctor for a checkup. She was thrilled. <laughs> she was so excited. So, um, I'm so excited. All right. I got to keep moving. Um, I've gotten a lot of work done. Just got that done off of my sort of like personal list. And now I'm heading over to Riley's studio to go and sort some garments so that I can get them sewn and embroidered. But that's the same thing and screen printed so I can ship them out. All right. I have been sorting for quite a while and I have all kinds of piles over here of garments that are, it's only a few. And then these are all of the extras. And then I have big boxes down here of some of the bigger ones and then baskets 
down here as well. Pumpkin pie is very popular. It's probably my favorite design in this launch. So we have a big basket of that. And that's what I've been up to. All right, so I have about an hour left with our babysitter today, and I'm home if you can't tell. I'm in our bedroom. Um, I haven't even made the bed yet today. Our room is a bit of a disaster. I need to tidy it up. So I'm going to use this last hour that I have some extra hands and help to tidy this up because, as you can imagine, as I tidy, the kids untidy, and so it's just easier to have their out there playing with her, having a great time. So that's what I'm going to work on, getting the bed all made, and then our closet and bathroom needs a good good refresh and reset as well. So let's get to it. Okay, it's a very exciting day. It's a little after five and tonight, and Colin just woke up, I can hear him. Tonight is our first night of the season having chili, which is a major staple. We make it about once a week. This is the recipe I always use. I've mentioned it 50, 100 billion, trillion, million times on this channel. In fact, I have an entire video dedicated to this particular recipe. We love it, so I'll link it below. So I got the ingredients out, except for the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and make it. I'm gonna make some cornbread. My mother-in-law's coming over to join us. I am so excited. So I'm gonna get cooking. Also, after I finished cleaning up our bedroom and bathroom and closet, I still had some time on the clock before our babysitter was set to leave. So I went ahead and finalized our Etsy holiday line for this year. I'm so excited. There are so many, 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 many amazing designs. Some from years past and tons of new ones. There will be wintry designs, just cozy cold weather designs, Christmassy designs, a New Year's design or two, some Hanukkah designs. It's going to be so great. I'm really looking forward to it. It will launch early October. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me help you in just a second. Um, and I am so excited to have that finalized. So like, even though it's really, it's still August, these are the things like I have to be way ahead of it. And once I wrap this up, I will begin working on next year's lines. Um, it just takes a while. You gotta be months in advance. So I'm gonna go get my baby because now he just woke up. I hear him crying on the mon, well, not really crying, just moving around in his crib on the monitor. And um, I'm gonna make some of this chili. The best seasons of the year are upon us, fall and winter. I'm so excited. All right, the chili is just simmering. It looks and smells so good. And I just made some cornbread that I will pop in the oven here in a minute. And we put this little seat up here for this little buddy, huh? It's a great place for him to sit while I cook because he can watch me and we can chat and you stay out of trouble. You playing with a drain plug and your sister's passy? Wow. Found them. Boo. Bow, bow. <laughs> Nora has nap hair because she took an, a late afternoon nap. And she's wearing her lunch, but she's having a good time. What are you doing, sis? I am with, I am with daddy. You're drawing with daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do this one? They're my daddy. Oh, that is your daddy. That's my Nora. Yeah, I want to Okay, we have to use the stickers, okay? Let's find the stickers. We just finished chili for dinner and it was super yummy. And Riley just spun the lemon cookie ice cream. Here's what it looks like. He put a the few. Best. My mother-in-law gives it two thumbs up. What do you think? Oh, I haven't really given it a bite yet. Oh, it's so good. Where? Oh, I can't wait. I love lemon Take ice cream. Take a bite on camera. You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. it's it's really good. good. It's, it's right. It's what I thought it would going to taste like. Exactly. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to try some, too. 
Oh my gosh, and then you also need a picture of your son because he's so... Ooh, that's delicious. Oh, is that good? So good. And here's Colin enjoying some chili and cornbread. Hot Mess Express. Say, say hi to him. Say hi. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye bye. That's a good little wave. And the, Nora and Digit, that. aren't they twins? They really look so much alike, down to the curls. Down to the curls. Can I have a bite? Nora, here's some for you. Good morning and happy Friday. Nora, where did you just go with Daddy? I don't want to do that. I went and got donuts. That's right. Riley has been taking Nora every Friday morning to go pick up donuts so that he, she gets one and then he takes them to work. And um, they just have such a good time. What kind of donut did you have today? I have a sprinkled donut. A sprinkled donut? What color was it? Uh, uh, yellow. It was yellow? Yeah. The sprinkles or the donut were yellow? No. What color was the icing? Did you get a pink one? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, pink. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. You want to go eat them, eat another one? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you do. Um, anyway, it's Friday. We had a great night last night. Riley's mom came to eat dinner with us. We had chili. It was so yummy. And then that lemon cookie ice cream was amazing. It was amazing. Here comes Kali. What do you have in your mouth? Uh. Yeah. Last night was a little better than two nights ago. So I feel like a little bit more well rested, but I did just make a beautiful, delicious, beautiful, delicious coffee that I'm gonna enjoy. Here is my beautiful coffee on this Friday morning. I made sweet cream cold foam to go on top of it. Cheers to Friday. <laughs> I am just making the kids some breakfast. Nora had a donut first thing, and she's hungry now because you know donuts don't really keep you full. Um, and Colin eats so well so making breakfast for them but i'm super excited because i was just texting with a couple of my girlfriends and we set up appointments with one of the color specialists so it's one of those women you may have seen online where they have all those different colored swatches of fabric and they lay them here across your chest and they basically determine like your best colors to wear based on your complexion and everything else um, and they determine whether you're like a summer, spring, fall, or winter, um, which is funny because I've never really known, I've known the concept, but I don't know anything about it, but I've had several people over the years tell me online, have commented or sent me a message and been like, have you ever done the color analysis? I really think you're a summer. So I'll be really interested to see what she says. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's not for about another month, um, but I asked her if I could film it. Not every single detail of it because I don't want to give away all her trade secrets, but just the general process of it. So I'm waiting to hear back from her. Um, I'm paying for it, but I think it would be super cool to share online. Um, and then if anybody lives in like the greater Dallas area and wants to you know, hire her, you could. So she does color consultations, which is what I'm doing. And then the next step up is a style consultation, which is more, I think, cuts of clothing and like the way you're wearing your clothing and not just pure color. Um, but I, and so she gave me the opportunity to schedule both at once, but that would be information overload for me. I think just starting with just color would be a great start. And then we can move up to a style, you know, here in the next few months or whatever, I can get back together with her and do a style analysis because each one takes like a couple of hours. Um, and so I'm doing it with three other girlfriends. So there'll be four of us. So she said it probably will take like the better part of six plus hours um, for us to all do what we want to do. So two of us are starting out and just doing the color analysis because we've never done it before. The other two have already done the co color analysis previously, so they are just doing the style analysis. So I'll be really interested to kind of eavesdrop on their style analysis and hear what kinds of things she's telling them so that I can determine whether that would be something I would want to do in the future. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm hoping that she'll say I can film parts of it. Um, and of course, I would just give like a recap at the end. I probably would film her doing the swatches on me, but um, just speed it up like a time lapse because I, from what I understand, it's pretty fast. I mean, it's pretty slow, like it, it goes pretty slow. So that way it would be faster for you guys and you wouldn't necessarily hear all of her commentary so that I wouldn't be giving away all of her secrets. 
Um, but I think it's going to be really, really interesting. I'm really excited. We're going to make an afternoon of it. We're going to do it on a Sunday afternoon after church. And um, we're going to all bring like appetizers and snacks. And we're just going to like go to my friend's house and just like enjoy our afternoon and have a little, all of us, all of us have um, kids like the exact same age. Um, one friend has an older child, but the rest of us all have two and they are all like exactly Nora's age, exactly Colin's age. So we all are in the exact same boat from, you know, motherhood and trying to find ourselves after motherhood. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I might hopefully be able to film parts of it. If I can't film it, then I'll just give a good recap. Um, whenever that weekly vlog, you know, I'm filming that weekly vlog, but that's going to be so fun. Has anyone ever done that? I am like super looking forward to it. It's like a couple hundred dollars. Um, it's pretty expensive actually. It's more expensive than I expected it to be. So I hope it's really worth it. From what I've heard it is. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to cooking for my kids, um, but just stay tuned. That's coming up in September. Um, and I will, I will share the details then. I believe it was yesterday that I was talking about how I felt like our house was just such a disaster and that no matter what I did, I couldn't get on top of the mess, which is always, go not always, which will be true probably for quite a while longer in my life because it's literally like, I just finished cleaning the kitchen then Colin crawled in and pulled all the dish towels off and he's like pushing the chairs around and it's just truly constant and that's okay. But while the kids were napping today, I did reset our bedroom again. I really love when our, at least our bedroom is totally reset. Let me stand in front of the window so you have a little bit better lighting here. Um, when at least our bedroom is nice and reset, I still need to put away that stuff on the on the dresser um, from Nora, that's Nora's stuff that I unpacked. I got our bathroom reset again and our closet is still nice and neat. And while they were napping, I cleaned the whole kitchen, washed all of our rags in there. And so they're all fresh and replaced. And then our den, I fluffed all the pillows, washed the blankets, wiped down all the surfaces, just did like a good tidy. And it just like, I feel like I can breathe again. Um, what I really would like to work on over the next week or two is getting rid of toys in the playroom that the kids don't play with, starting to do a toy rotation system and um, just organizing them a bit differently so that Nora can help us pick up toys. She's definitely to the age where she can do that. So I ordered today, right now I just have like rope baskets, which are really cute, but they're kind of difficult for her, I think. Um, with the organizing because it's hard to see what's in them and anyway, so I got some clear bins um, They'll arrive. They say it said on Tuesday Some clear bins and so I'm gonna put a picture on the front of the bin of what's supposed to go into the bin um, Printed out in like a fix it so that she She's not reading it. She's two um, so that she can match it, you know Visually and we can learn to pick up that way. So what I think I'm gonna do is I already wrote down a list I got eight bins and I'm um, I already wrote down a list of like the eight categories of toys that we have. So like play food, wooden blocks, magnetiles, and so on. Doctor is its own category. And what I'm going to do is leave out maybe three of them at a time. And then the rest I will stack most likely in our guest room when we don't have guests. Um, because no one ever goes in there. And then I was thinking just to set myself a reminder every Sunday to go ahead and swap out the three that I have out with three new ones. And then in addition to the three, I thought we would leave out some of the bigger items. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like the push um, shopping cart that they have that the kids play with. So I'm going to leave out some of the bigger things, but the things that have a lot of pieces, we're just going to do three at a time. And we're going to see how that goes. Um, because I feel like trying to stay on top of the mess is a challenge for a lot of reasons. But one reason is there's just so much. Um, but they really play with all of those different toys. I just don't know that they need to play with them all every day. <laughs> so we're going to do a toy rotational system and I will definitely let you know how it goes. I'm really excited to implement it. I went ahead and ordered those bins already. So they are on their way to me. Um, and so that will most likely be in next week's vlog is like setting that all up and in the process of organizing the toys, I'm definitely going to get rid of some of them. There's probably a couple I could sell on Facebook marketplace and then some that I can donate. So I'll fill you in and let you know as we go, how that works out.
Good morning, guys. It's Saturday now, so I figured I would go ahead and wrap up this weekly vlog. It's been an interesting week because I feel like I filmed quite a bit, even though I started the vlog on Wednesday morning. Um, I'm up here at my office getting some work done and packaging up some orders, so make sure that you go ahead and check out my fall line. I will link it below. Also, just because some like housekeeping things, I'll also leave links below for Liquid IV, my... Um, code has changed now it's Blair underscore blogs and that gives you 25% off and free shipping on any order you can use it over and over again um, also I will leave a link to wild grain below you get $30 off your first box plus free croissants for the lifetime of your membership if you use my link below and then also this is really exciting butcher box which is where we get all of our meats from they have like grass-fed organic delicious meats that are frozen and then shipped in dry ice to your house we love butcher box um, they are running, they just started a free chicken breasts for life promotion. So for the lifetime of your membership, you get free chicken breasts in every single box of Butcher Box, which is wonderful. So I will leave a link to that below if you want to check them out too. Everything else that I've mentioned in this video will also be linked below, as you guys well know. I will see you next Sunday. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day wherever you are, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.